sunrise over Island Head. Bloody cold here at the moment. Just about to set off for Strong Tide Passage. The tide's coming in, so I should be able to zoom down the coast and down the uh, Dong down Strong Tide Passage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and cut across between this island and the island head, which is a big sandbank, but I think there's enough tide for me to get round, so I'm going to give it a go. Save me about a mile. Salvaging a boat in the uh, it's in the uh, mangroves. We'll go and have a look in a minute. That's Thirsty Sound. Uh, this is Strong Tide Passage. Just got to go around the rock in the middle there. And then we're sweet, we can carry on straight up into that bay. Beautiful scenery here. Tide passage. There's not much tide at the moment. I've kind of about an hour before high water at the moment. Probably got about a half a knot of tide, maybe a knot. If you're looking ahead is Cape Townsend, which is uh, where the uh, army do their training mainly and all their bombing. You can see on the top of the islands they've got uh, on the top of the hills they've got white. Uh, white uh, big concrete blocks so they uh, are the bomb aimers. You can see signs on the beach here with for unexploded ordnance. Triangle Island is over there. Well, I'm heading along at about uh, four knots at the moment, and uh, over the ground I'm only making 2.3. I've uh, been going really well through here up to now, and I've just hit the turn of the tide, I believe, and uh, I've got two knots against me, at least. We left there this morning at uh, six o'clock. We saw some wrecks on the a wreck on the beach there, a boat that had uh, run aground hard there, and somebody I think was trying to salvage it. We came along here. A bit bumpy, I'm sorry, but I came along here, and we're going. We came down Strong Tide Passage. We came down here, down Strong Tide Passage, and now we're just going in between some rocks these dry to 4.2 at low, at low tide but I can't see them at the moment and there's a round rock here and then there's an island and we are here at the moment in that little arrow and we are going to go round here and down canoe passage and anchor somewhere up here for the night yeah looking out from the boat you can see the uh, water there breaking on the rocks over there. 
and uh, I've got to bear off a bit. This is the entrance to Canoe pa Passage. And the point's just behind the uh, sail there. Well, I've got to uh, the top of Canoe Passage, that's where I am now. I'm a bit disappointed with the place. All this lot around here is mangroves, all this around here is mangroves. Very low lying, so, you know, I've got to cut my losses. So I'm going to come on out through here and I'm going to anchor there for lunch. All stations, all stations. Uh, good morning, Coast Guard Thirsty Sound. With a repeat of this morning's weather, which was issued at 4 7 a.m. today, Friday, oh, well, I don't need to hear that yet. So that's uh, it's light southeasters at the moment. All right, I'll just show you what it looks like from that uh, from where from outside. That's looking uh, basically, I think it's north straight out of here and. Uh, out of canoe passage and uh, there's meant to be kind of like uh, sand either side and rocks in the middle and you've got to negotiate through you should do it with the rubber dinghy before you go through but because i'm in strass i only draw 600 i can turn on a sixpence i'm going to give it a go uh either side on this side here you can see it's uh, pretty low scrub and no beaches this the, it all dries out to sand here uh, uh, later on all from probably about a hundred meters away but uh, you know sand sand uh, uh, and uh, doesn't look that inspiring looking north from the point you can see it's very low this side same again and uh, the only other thing that doesn't you know doesn't appeal to me here is it's a green zone and I haven't actually seen anything uh, I thought I saw. I think I saw one dugong. That's all I've seen. It's not a uh, a place of a great wildlife to sit and watch. Yeah, canoe passage. It, it's it's vast. You know, it's like uh, like half a Morton Bay just about. And you look at it, and then over this side, you can see all the the. That's looking back towards. Uh, Island Head Creek and uh, over there where I came from this morning. I've decided to come out come out backwards out of this passage. I can't see the rocks or anything so what I'm doing is I'm instead of there's about three knots of tide coming out of here so I'm just uh, facing the wrong way and then I can if I can see the rocks then I can just drive by them uh, go, go back up stream and uh, miss them it's not a very good view into the sun you see to get out of here can't see anything at the moment but they say they're on the chart there at the moment I'm doing 2.4 knots 2.5 knots and I'm I'm not going anywhere I'm just going just uh, drifting with the uh, tide at that speed. There I am, I'm going backwards at 2.5 knots. In the water behind, so I'm gonna go around them. I've had a good look behind and I can't really see a way through. Everywhere I look it's uh, white water basically behind me. So I'm going to uh, go back up in anchor. Heading back up now, up uh, Canoe Passage, back west. As you can see there's a the rock ledge there. You can see a rock ledge there. I'm. Uh, doing about four knots through the water I'm in a back eddy here that's what I heard to get myself past this rock ledge and then I'm going to anchor uh, 
that's the training at uh, BSS on the Brisbane River sailing. How you get it yourself in a back eddy. Those rocks, uh, since I came down, those rocks have come out the water. They were just showing. Now they're a foot out the water now. Well, I've anchored here about a quarter of a mile up from the uh, the bar where I was before, before, and uh, basically just off those rocks. And yeah, it's 12.20. That's what those rocks like look like at the moment. Tide's going out just by the boat. I'll just show you. At the moment, I'm anchored just there, uh, in four meters of water. At the four meters of water, it showed that I could actually get out through there. But I was seeing that reef right round there, and the, uh, maybe a couple of those rocks, and the disturbance around those. Uh, I just couldn't risk going out uh, with uh, four knots of tide straight out through there over that reef. So I've anchored here for now. And when the tide uh, is slack, I will uh, go through there and go and anchor in this bay here for the night. And then tomorrow I'll be able to go across here to the Collins Group. But at the moment the tide's going by the boat at about two knots. Well, I fell asleep for just a bit longer than I thought. It's now 13.40. So it's uh, just over, just a little bit over an hour. So now the tide's finished going out, there's absolutely nothing here. You know, no, no, no movement at all. I'm just going to cook myself my, uh, some lunch, which is going to be a, an omelette. And the anchor alarm's going off, so 